Hi there, this is Florin and I'm pretty excited to show you some of the new Evoluted Tools functionality in the next few minutes. In this clip I will showcase and talk about panel or surface fitting. This is a new module that can be incorporated in Evoluted Tools or delivered standalone. This functionality is justified by the available manufacturing technology for curved glass panels as well as for other materials like metal, wood, concrete or foam. So let's start and have a look at our example surface. Assuming you would have to build this with glass panels, the individual molding of the double curved panels will most probably make it unaffordable. Therefore, it is crucial to be able to approximate these panels with simpler shapes like cylinders for example, since the production of cylindrical glass can be automated and delivered at a much lower cost. So let's start to fit a cylinder to a sample panel. I will choose this one because it has a more complicated boundary. It has five edges compared to most of the other panels which have four edges. The fitting is quite straightforward. We just type in the command or um, pick the button on the toolbar. Voila! Our mighty red cylinder patch is ready to be sent to a CNC machine for outputting our real glass panel. I will untrim it so we can have a look at the actual whole cylinder. Here it is. It's a pretty large radius cylinder. So this is the best fit cylinder for our input surface. You can actually apply the fitting only to the boundary of your input panel if you need to. Now, before continuing and doing more fitting, I want to show you some of the other panel types that you can fit onto your uh, randomly shaped reference surfaces. So we just find them here in the panel types. We have quite a few options to choose from and they are highly relevant for various uh, manufacturing technologies. We have cones, cylinders, flat surfaces, paraboloid, uh, polynomial surfaces, ruled surfaces, so on and so forth. The module also comes with some fine-tuning toggles to allow precise manual control or even rigid fitting with a predetermined radius, but we will not go through that now. In the next step, I will fit a few more cylinders so we can have an impression of how this surface looks like if it would have been built with cylinders. So I will resurface my input reference again. Push the button and just select a few more uh, panels. Four rows should be enough. And you have a problem specific report for um, each panel. We have the deviation from the boundary here. We have like 5 millimeters, 3 millimeters, 4 millimeters. So it's pretty close fitting, it's pretty tight fitting, very uh, low gaps or small gaps. And here it is. You can see how the cylinders actually intersect our input surface. Let's have a look at them. It looks pretty nice and smooth. It's a pretty good approximation. Um, the gaps are almost not visible at all. So this is a very nice way to approximate your uh, complex double curved surface with cylindrical panels. Furthermore, I want to show you a few other panel types which are most relevant for various fabrication technologies. One of the types is the double cylinder. I will quickly fit one and untrim it so we can see what's going on there. Uh, let me hide this fitting. So let's pick our pilot panel again. I'll make a few copies just to have them for other panel types. So we are ready to pick a double radius cylinder and fit it onto our surface. Okay, it's done. Again, pretty quick. And we can definitely spot a new thing. So there's an edge crossing this panel. And this is actually the tangency edge of the two cylinders. 
So this panel is made up of two cylinders. The red panel is made up of two cylinders. They are tangent to each other and we are just using a bit of one cylinder and a bit of the other one. So I will untrim them so we can again check out their radii. Okay, it's done. As you can see it's a pretty large one and a small one and we're just using a bit of one and a bit of the other. They are tangent and they make up a single panel. And just like the single radius cylinder, this type of panel can be manufactured automatically at a lower cost and normally allows a closer fit to most double curved input surfaces. Here it is again. And if we make a comparison to a single radius cylinder Let's fit one again. Untrim it. You can spot the differences in the radius of the various cylinders used for fitting. Another important surface type is a ruled surface. And this can be relevant for hot wire cutting of foam blocks. which are usually used as molds for concrete casting or for other composite construction. So let's try to fit one. I'll choose um, ruled surface and fit it onto our reference. Great, here it is. You can spot the differences in the intersections of the fitted panels to the reference surface. So they are a little bit different. And finishing up I will fit a general cylinder which is especially useful for sheet metal rolling. Again this can be produced with CNC machinery at a much lower cost. So I will choose a general cylinder and quickly fit one to our reference. Alright, here it is. Again, different intersections to the input surface. So we have seen some uh, interesting fitting today, various panel types. Thanks a lot for watching. We really look forward to your feedback.